speed ramping sucked because I didn't know how to do this. But if you look at these two clips, you can see there's a bit of a difference, right? And the quality of one is a lot better than the other one. Well, I guess it's subjective. It really depends on which one you like best. But let me just show you this little thing that I discovered and I think you will definitely benefit from knowing this. Adding speed ramp is pretty straightforward. Just press Ctrl R and then we're gonna click here and then we're gonna add a speed point from the first point that you want. If you want it to start right here, let's say, the speed ramp to start here, and then we're gonna go to the next point, which is where we want our speed ramp to end. Let's say right here. And we're gonna click again, and we're gonna add a second speed point. Then we're just gonna drag these up here, and this could be however much you want, but this is where the things get interesting. If you right click, you can open the retime curve, but by default, it opens in the retime frame what we want to do is retime the speed. And here in these, you can see all the different elements that you can actually adjust. And here is the key to these, the retime speed. Here we can actually adjust this curve and we can actually ease them in and out by doing this. If you hold control and then select one, then you're just gonna move one of the sides. And then we can do the same here. And if we want these two like go away a little bit slower then we're just doing that side and then we can actually even drag this further so it's a little bit faster in this side right now if we let this cache then we can see the speed ramp looks a lot better than if it was just a linear one one other thing that you can do here is to add a little bit of a motion blur from an adjustment layer if you don't have studio then you're gonna have to do this with an adjustment adjustment layer and all we have to do now is actually find out where the blur happens and here I added a zoom blur effect, which you can find right here in the effects tab, in the open effects and then zoom blur. It looks better, but it's up to you. And then I, I did a little bit of animation of the amount. So then it looks a lot better than without it. So yeah, that is basically the little tip that I wanted to share with you all. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but it's definitely a game changer if you hadn't known this before. And that is it for this video. See you in the next one. Here in Bye.